Hey there, my name is Chris Acted with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 71. And in this episode, I'm gonna talk all about overshot. See, I have two videos back to back that will cover all the bases for overshot. I'm breaking it down into tiny little pieces so that you will feel confident to try it, just in case you've never given it a go. This video will be all about dressing the loom and the places where you have to pay attention there. The next one will be all about actually weaving the fabric. So let's start at the top. What is overshot? Overshot is, well, I like to describe it as the weaving pattern for people who love to weave patterns. It can be interesting and complicated and intricate and amazing. There's so much you can do with overshot. And while it may look really complicated, I promise with putting just a couple things in place, you'll be weaving overshot in no time. So let's start to talk about what we need to think about when dressing the loom for overshot. The first thing to think about is as you're planning your project, you're going to need floating selvages. Floating selvages are these little guys right here. So you have one on each side. Their job, their only job, is to make sure they're catching your weft yarns so they go all the way to the edge. It's going to give you nice straight edges. So as you're planning your project, just add two yarns. Add one for each side of your project and that will give you a much nicer a finished edge and a much nicer result. The next place to stay sharp is as you're threading your heddles. In a lot of patterns, you'll have a straight draw. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right on and on. This is not that pattern. In this one, you're gonna have a very specific order that your warp yarns need to go into the shafts. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The pattern I have on here is called Wandering Vine, and it looks like this right here. I am using the Hand Weavers pattern book from Marguerite Porter Davison, which is fabulous, especially for overshots. So this is my pattern here that I'm using. Now, when I go to thread my heddles, here is the very, very specific order that they need to go into. Now, this is a big pattern here. They're not all this long. Um, many of them are much shorter, you just repeat them. But it is gonna be a very specific order that they need to go into the loom. So you need to stay sharp at this stage of the process. So related to that then is how you tie up your shafts to your treadles. And here is our little spot that's gonna give us all the information right here about how to tie it up. Because if you just have them tied up willy-nilly and doesn't fit with the pattern, you're not gonna get this result. So when you go down below your loom and you connect your shafts to the pedals, which are called treadles down below, um, pay attention to what order they need to be uh, connected because that will then influence the pattern. What happens is when you get into the weaving, you're reading this that'll give you this result. And that only happens if they're tied up correctly. I hope that makes sense. So as you are setting up your loom, you're dressing your loom for overshot, there are three spots when you have to kind of stay sharp. First of all, make sure you're adding floating selvages to your project. Secondly, make sure you have your pattern with you and that you're paying attention as you're putting your warp yarns into the shafts. When you're threading your heddles here, that's gonna be important because of you need the right ones to lift and lower, which also connects into your tie-ups down below. When you crawl under your loom, or if you have a table loom as you're doing it there, but as you're connecting your shafts to your treadles down below, make sure you're connecting them in the right order so that when you go to weave next, everything will start to come together as planned. So those are the three spots for you to really stay sharp and pay attention when you're setting up your loom for an overshot project. Like I said, in the next video, I will be walking you through the actual weaving process, how you put it all together to create this beautiful, amazing overshot pattern. All right, friends, if you've been enjoying acting creative videos, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be the first to know when the next one comes out. Have a great week, my friends. I hope that you'll set up your loom and think about a little overshot in your future. And I'll be right back with the next video on how to put it all together.
All right, friends, have a great one and happy weaving.